is City News Everywhere. Just months after they were held up as heroes of the pandemic, Alberta's nurses could be looking at a 3% wage rollback from the province. This is unconscionable. It's short. Um, it's, uh, it defies all kinds of uh, sanity and reality. President of the United Nurses of Alberta, Heather Smith, explains to City News that a 3% rollback could actually add up to more than 5% when all is said and done. Things like reducing uh, shift differential and weekend premiums, things that we have uh, added to our contract over the years. After a year and a half of the pandemic, the union leader says morale amongst health care staff is at an all-time low. It's like adding... Um, oil on a fire in terms of uh, insulting um, a workforce that is already uh, feeling um, un underappreciated and, and exhausted. Alberta's finance minister defends the move, saying the wage cut will help the province to get its fiscal house in order. Alberta's nurses are the highest paid in the country. Heather Smith admits wages are higher, but says wages are higher across all sectors in the province, adding there's another group of people who earn more than their provincial counterparts. Cabinet ministers in Alberta um, actually uh, have are 15 to 22 percent above provincial comparators. So why attack and undermine um, nurses and, and healthcare workers? The leader of the biggest provincial government union says his own members face the threat of rollbacks and even potential lockouts. Public sector workers staged wildcat strikes in October. And I think it's really important that uh, workers stick together uh, wherever they are in the public service. And when it comes to the government services, uh, negotiations, you know, there's strong indications that the government itself is preparing to lock out its entire workforce. Heather Smith isn't worried about a lockout, but says strike action is looming. The response to from my members yesterday is uh, they want the negotiating committee to do all we can to uh, advance the process to get us to a legal strike position. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.